howdy howdy folks it's diecast buffet here again with a wave review uh wave 4 2020 is finally amongst us and i know it was days ago when lionel racing announced this um yeah i've, I've been dealing with a hurricane so <laughs> i didn't have power then I, I read the notification on my phone i was like oh my god it's a brand new wave we got some really cool pieces here folks got a really cool uh, set of cards here, but I do have some critical opinions about this that I'll go over later in the video And without further ado, let's go ahead and kick this off So the first die cast in way four of the NASCAR Authentic 164 line for 2020 Well, it's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Xfinity car. Uh, we had a promo early release of this We had your standard gold series release and now we have a Authentics release um, I would not be surprised if we got a 187 release as well. So this is the Hellman's Xfinity Camaro. Now, it's a really cool-looking car. I already did a review on this car. You can check that out down below in the description. Uh, but I got to say, man, ugh, I, I just I don't know. I feel like this car should have been out earlier than it is now because it's kind of a lame duck. I mean, we should be getting Darlington throwbacks, in my opinion, at this time. I would love to see an early throwback. I think that would be really cool. This is so behind the, the 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 eight ball here it's it's just unbelievable so the next car we got here is well, i think is a banger you got uh ryan blaney's advanced auto parts ford mustang already did a review on this as well you can check that out down below absolutely one of the best blaney die cast if not the best one i've ever seen stunning looking die cast slam dunk love this add to the wave and you look i'm a chase elliott cap but i gotta say this is a slam dunk here you get your first chase elliott 2020 uh mold car in the nascar authentics uh, on nascar authentics line of course it is the mountain dew uh zero sugar car that he ran at the clash i don't think he's gonna run it again in the playoffs but we do know he ran at the clash um beautiful paint scheme the black the green stunning paint scheme again already did a review on this i love this car perfect at i think the blaney and i think the elliott are slam dunks Yes, the Elliott came out months ago. The whole, you know, craziness going around. That's probably why we've seen the Dale Jr. so delayed. Like, the, that way four, in my opinion, probably was going to be out by, probably by the uh, the drop of the checkered at the 600, to be honest with you. They were probably going to, that was what they were expecting. Uh, but, of course, with all the craziness with Chinese New Year, and then, of course, you know, uh, the, the craziness going across the world as well. That's kind of delayed things. Here's another really cool paint scheme. It is Chris Busher's Sunny D Ford Mustang. Yeah, the Sunny D car. Uh, I freak. I think this is freaking awesome. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this is freaking awesome. This one, folks, really kind of surprised me. Now, this car, I believe, was actually canceled. Uh, the Sunny D Ford Mustang for Chris Busher. Now, I would told. I totally. I didn't even think about this when I first seen the wave that. I thought this car was already produced. No, it wasn't. I believe this car was actually canceled because I remember one car that was very similar to Stenhouse, and I think it was the Sunny D car. Um, so maybe I'm just crazy, but I do think this is an exclusive. I remember OBB's post about some of, one of these uh, Busher cars being canceled, and I think it was the Sunny D Mustang. Of course, this thing's practically identical to the 2019 Ricky Stenhouse Jr., but I got to say, man, if this is a exclusive, this is really cool uh, to get that paint scheme because it's a it's a really cool car, even though it's very similar to last year's. And uh, moving on to the next one, we got a Noah Gregson diecast, another Xfinity car. So we're going to get two Xfinity diecasts in Wave 4 2020. It is his uh, Lionel Racing NASCAR Authentics car. Now, this one... I think it's going to run at the Charlotte Roval in the coming weeks. Uh, we already did a review on this as well. I think this paint scheme is beautiful. I'll be honest with you. I think this thing's freaking beautiful. Um, there's a lot of cool things going on with it. The red, the black, the white. I, I really like the paint scheme. Uh, it's, it, of course, it's a it's a NASCAR diecast sponsored race car. And for any collector, that's really cool. But, uh, a really cool car. If you haven't picked it up, this is a great opportunity for that. And it, it, the writing was on the wall that this car was going to be an authentic. I mean, it was a slam dunk. Uh, coming up to our next car, and in my opinion, probably the, my the second favorite of this whole thing. Jimmy Johnson's Ally car. Now, this car has been difficult for a lot of people to get because I don't think they anticipated that many people were going to buy it. Um, and, and to my knowledge, when they do these production runs, they do 
X amount are going to go to the NASCAR Authentics line, and then X amount are going to go to the Gold Series. So if they plan on doing an Authentics and a Gold Series run, they can only make so many Gold Series cars because the rest of those are going to be pushed to Authentics. I think that's how I do it. Don't quote me on that. But I tell you what, man, if you have not been able to get this car, um, if you wait probably a couple weeks, maybe a month or so, this car could be on your shelves uh, for a very, very affordable price. Uh, really cool paint packaging and the paint scheme. I mean, I tell you what, man, if you're if you're a diehard Jimmy Johnson cat, this would be a paint scheme to get open and also buy a second one to keep in your room. Because I tell you what, man, not that this car is going to bring value, but it's going to have a sentimental uh, factor to it. But this is another beautiful race car. It's it's Kyle Busch's 2020 Skittles Dips car. Uh, it's funny saying that. <laughs> Uh, I have not done a review on this yet. I will be doing that very soon. I got the Gold Series car, which is interesting how this car was already put in production and ready to go before the Gold Series release, which is really unusual for lineup racing. Generally, they do the Gold Series one first and then the NASCAR Authentics. Obviously, the Gold Series stuff uh, gets a little bit higher coin as it does cost a little bit more. Uh, but this is really interesting. This is a beautiful paint scheme. And to my knowledge, this car never seen the racetrack due to the craziness this year so um it's not a fantasy paint scheme it, it was intended to run but it didn't run either way Kyle Busch fan or not it's a beautiful race car I can't wait to do a review on that very soon and coming up to our final car in way for 2020 it is Eric Jones's 2020 Irwin Tools Toyota Camry yeah guess what I made a custom of this car look I'll be honest with you I got it wrong. I did not expect this car to be put in the authentic line. I, I was I was more leaning to maybe a sport clips car because they never got one produced. Um, I, I don't think we ever got one for Eric Jones in the authentic line. Could be wrong in that, but uh, uh, I was really hoping that this car was not going to get produced because I made a custom of it. Of course, I have a review to that down below. I will say though that custom is horrible. Uh, but guess what? Never fear, you can get this car in the Authentics line. Uh, this is a beautiful paint scheme. I believe he ran it at Vegas. Um, a awesome Eric Jones alternate course. This cat's not going to be in the 20 car next year. But look, if you're a diecast fan, this is a beautiful paint scheme. And let me tell you, man, the liquid color on this car, holy moly, is absolutely fantastic, man. I, I'm not even a, a liquid color guy, but I'll say the blue paint job on this thing is banging now unfortunately though I've, I've got some critical opinions about this and feel free to tell me your opinions down below in the comment section uh but i gotta say man only eight cars in wave 4 2020 look why on guys green earth can they not just put a truck in this way i don't care if it's a back marker truck i don't care if it's norm benning i don't care if it's sheldon Creek. i don't care if it's another mac crafton with different contingencies Put a darn truck in there. Put a raced version diecast in there. Why couldn't we get a Martin Truex Jr. Martinsville 164, right? Why why can't we just get one of these these just obscure race to win cars? Instead, we get eight diecasts. In my opinion, it's a missed opportunity for not the casual collector, the hardcore for every collector. It is a missed opportunity because you got to think about it. You get 12 waves a year, right? 10 cars in it. 90% of this crap you can get in the Gold Series, right? So there's a few exclusives here and there. This is a missed opportunity in my opinion. But I gotta say, man, I think Wave 4, though, is still a solid, solid wave. I really do. You know, you got your Elliots. You got your your, your Dale Jr. Of course, I, I will say some of these paint schemes, they were out, like, literally. The Dale Jr. car, you could get the early release of that back in February. So when I said that this car was already released, that's a long time ago, folks. We're about, we're, we're like, what, in September now. So, I'm just saying. So, I think that's definitely late to the game. But I love the Blaney. I love the Elliots. I think the Busher, I didn't even realize that the Busher was, I think it's exclusive. I think it got canceled in the Gold Series. Um, I think the Gregson's a good fit. Uh, the Jimmy Johnson, a slam dunk there. Uh, the, the Kyle Busch Skittles car. I mean, they, they, they could have put a generic whatever paint scheme that we get every year, right? No, they put a banging looking paint skin there. I freaking love it. And then the, the Irwin Tools car for Eric Jones, a, a true exclusive, and in my opinion, a really big surprise here. But I will say, though, that uh, the biggest flaw for this wave is absolutely only eight cars. 
You got to put one extra one in there. I, like I said, I don't care if it's a truck series or Xfinity win. I don't care if it's a, if it's a Haley Deegan, anything. Just put that extra car in there. In my opinion, that is a missed opportunity. Anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, I hope to get more content out uh, sooner than later. Of course, you know, still uh, trying to get everything restocked on the channel since the, the hurricane joint blew through and uh, kind of kind of put us on a hiatus for about four or five days. But, uh, yeah, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep digging. We're going to stay humble. Uh, but, yeah, tell me what y'all think about Wave 4 2020. And when do you think Wave 5 will be announced hopefully soon because yeah, think about it if they're doing 12 waves folks they are on crunch time because think about it we're in september you got october november december i'm telling you folks we could see a lot of nascar waves announcing very soon or it could just be dragged out until next year's speed weeks anyways folks hope you have a great day out there like comment and subscribe diecast buffet signing off